Now let's look uh, what analytical procedures can give us proper results. So I want to separate calcium ions from mixture of potassium and magnesium ions in water. One of possible procedures would be addition of ammonium oxalate. This will result of formation of calcium oxalate precipitate white powder on the bottom of my beaker. This powder can be filtered out. So on my filter I have calcium oxalate and in my beaker I have potassium and magnesium ions left. Another example of analytical procedure. I have iron, copper and manganese ions in my solution in a beaker. I add potassium iodate and worm solution. As a result, I have permanganate forming and this permanganate has characteristic purple color. I can put this purple solution in a cuvet and do spectrophotometric determination measuring observance. What are requirements for such procedures? First, it should be convenient procedure. Uh, I should try to use the instruments that are available in my laboratory. They should not be expensive or elaborated. For example, calcium oxalate can be isolated and weighed, so I need balances and filters. Absorbance of permanganate iron can be easily measured in visible light, so I need very inexpensive photometer for this process. What is important that I need to have yield of 100% plus minus standard deviation of the method. Very seldom in synthetic chemistry we have 100% yield. That's why analytical reactions are very special. We design for purpose the processes that will result in 100% yield. Oh, what a standard deviation of the method means? Uh, it means that uh, my instruments I am using for my measurements, for example, for vein, I use balances, and balances give me four digits. So, even if I have smaller deviation than one hundredth of percent, I will not see it on my balances. That means I do not need them. That's why for gravimetry methods, uh, we require four significant digits correct and standard deviation of methods must be less than one hundredth. We should do our chemistry with error less than one hundred percent. For spectrometry and tetrametry uses, usually we are less strict and we allow error of 0.1% relative. So three digits, three significant figures must be correct. Again, still yield should be between 99.9 .9 and 100.1, .1, which is very tough requirement. 